Hi, I'm Kurt Theobald. I turn segmented wood. The focus of today's video is not how to show how to build the intricate patterns like the ones in this vessel, but rather we will take a look at how to create a segmented ring that has no gaps. This ring has 16 segments and there are no gaps. If you're unable to make a segmented ring with no gaps, it's highly unlikely that you'll be able to create a pattern like this one you'll see in this bowl with no gaps. Your precision in segmented wood turning starts with the calibration of your sander. First, we want the table to be 90 degrees to our disc. So we'll use a square, get it to 90 degrees, once it at 90, then you will lock in the table with the locking mechanism. There's one on either side of the table, and you will lock those in. When I get my desired dimension here for the length of my segment, as we've seen earlier, I can lock in my stop. Now every segment that I sand is going to be all exactly the same length. It's worth noting that this surface here and this surface here need to be dead flat. It needs to be flat so it doesn't rock this way on the sled, and this needs to be flat and straight so it rides consistently on the fence over here and doesn't rock this way. 